Hello everybody, my name is Brian Name and welcome to back to Subnautica. So, in between recordings, I've done absolutely nothing. Reason being, I'm lazy. And also, I started work again. Um, you guys probably don't care too terribly much, but I'm gonna say anyways, because it gives me something to talk about. So, I've been without a job for a while, and I've been wanting to get back into work because, you know, COVID and all this. So, getting in, back into work was hard, but I finally got a job. Uh, just wrapped up my first week, actually. So I've been pretty busy this week. Getting videos out to you guys, like posting and everything else, then going back to work. It's been a challenge, but I'm getting a steady schedule going. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this on one of the days prior to my day off. So, yeah. Instead of me being lazy and eating lazy chips and watching some weird stuff on YouTube, I'm making you guys stuff. So sweet. But, uh, that aside... I've done nothing in between this recording and the last. Absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. So, with that being said, what we're going to do this episode. Hold on, I gotta shuffle. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm not discussing it a bit. I can't really hear myself, so I'm trying not to yell at you guys. So what we're going to do this episode is, we are going to, if I recall, we're going to... Is it? Ah, here it is. Codes and clues. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going to go to check out the alien stuff. And I'm going to possibly build the prawn. Depends if I get sidetracked my ADD. And then... We could go check out the scary hole in the ocean where that ghost leviathan is. I think that's a ghost leviathan. Don't quote me on that. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing today. First things first. Disease Research Facility. I think that would be the first place to go. And since it's the one that's the closest to me. Because I cannot go to 1200 meters yet. Because I will die. But I can't go to the Disease Research Facility. I do have the stuff ready for that. So it's at 800 meter depth. Uh, cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of the enforcement plas platform. Function, live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Cara. 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 Cura. I don't know. I forgot how they pronounced it. But, with that being said, numb. I think I'm gonna get myself prepped and ready to go. And then I will see you guys once we get to the big shooty shooty gun that shot down the shun beam. And we'll go from there. Hey guys, look, it's Squidward! It's a bad Squidward though. Oh, there's a Squidward right there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a problem. So I've been swimming around for a while. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, what is the only place that goes down below, like, 600 meters? And I thought to myself, hmm, the ruby and gel area. So I thought to myself, why not explore? So I found this place. Right. And that's spooky. This is the only place that goes below 700, I know at the very least, because we're about to hit 700. I don't know what that is down there, I'm scared. I'm very scared of where I'm at. And also, I just don't like this. I am getting shivers down my spine because I'm like, hmm, what's in the murky depths of this area? But we're going to explore this area, and we're going to see if we can find what we can find. Okay. Ah. Uh, Well, this is interesting. Let's see what this has to say. The skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, which with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Oh, hell no, no. What are you? What are you? Am I gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna die if I go in this. There's Squidward talking. This isn't 800 meters, but it's something. What do you need, lad? How do I get in you? Ah, the orange.
Oh, okay. Ah, of course. Fossils likely came from the ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. The size and delicacy of the bones suggest they form part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structure. Hell no. What are you? Can I cut you? No? Okay. Okay. Local plants being held in stasis. The aliens evidently thought it sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Okay. A large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Equipment maintenance, blah 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 blah, okay. Do I want to? What are you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. What's in there? Hello? Ruby. Ah. Interesting. I'm just gonna grab... What are you? Integrating new PDA data. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Where are you? Terminal data. Okay. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna with a special focus on the reproductive methods. Core conclusions have been synthesized. Aliens discovered life forms on the planet have just one sex. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species. In rare case, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Ah, okay. Alrighty. That's nice. And I have an egg of something I probably shouldn't have an egg of. But you know... No, thank you. Ah. Okay. This is, a, this is a big boy. Imagine this going after you. What are you? Are you a Leviathan? Hello? Ah, uh, he just went into the rocks, of course. <gasps> What are you? This is the thing that made my sea moth go boom. In the hole. This is the same motherfucker. I don't know what it is, but it made my sea moth go boom. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. Hello? Yeah, yeet. <gasps> oh! Oh! Was seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Detecting an alien broadcast, linguistic analysis reads caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh, mm. that's nice. Sea dragon, I okay. Can I have it? I want a pet sea dragon. No. PDA data. Hello. How it be? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. 
Warper parts. Warper. Sexy mama. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm, this is nice. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to grab that. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. We'll do that in just a moment. Just one tidbit of a minute. Hello there. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go back to my Seamoth, because I'm gonna die if I don't. So I do not have a beacon on me. Ah! Awesome. Why was this protected? Integrating new PDA data. A paper. Shows no immunity. Leviathan. What is go? What are you? Pardon ma. Alright, well. I don't know how long that knocking's been happening, but that was my girlfriend coming over. Hi, babe. But. I did some combing and everything else, and. I have found nothing. So that's it, I think. So with that being said, I'm going to do a little bit more exploring off camera. I do not like that noise. Stop. But, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. That's where I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it with a hobo on the street. Share it with a magician named Maverick. Hello, Warper. Go away. Oh, I don't want... Uh, Haha! What the fuck? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, I'm out. Ha, bitch. Well, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Fight, 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 fight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.